Hey, and welcome back to another video in my Vintage Tech Showcase playlist, the playlist of videos where I showcase older electronic devices in a retro style review. And this is my first uh, coverage of a any form of iPod on this uh, vintage tech showcase playlist because I kept off putting I uh, kept uh, putting off iPods for a while because I had to complete the list of phones that I had to do uh, you can find this playlist up on my channel and I'll also put it down in the description below if you want to check everything out so the first iPods that we'll cover on this playlist are the fifth gen and the 5.5 gen iPod classic um, as you can see, we have an assortment of them. Uh, well, these two are the same and these two are the same and this is different. Um, just It's just the colors. This is the enhanced 5.5 U2. And all of these are generally 5.5s. I do not have a standard fifth gen. Uh, we'll be talking about how you can recognize them and all that stuff as well in this video. But before we jump right in, as usual, don't forget to smash that like button because uh, it helps this channel a lot and it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm as well. Also hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and you wanna uh, see more content like this. Also uh, check out my social media, which will be linked down in the description below. And now let's jump right into this video. So first let's get one uh, turned on here. I have this one on the charger. Uh, these three are the ones that only work properly. Uh, they're all, all of their batteries are shot, but these three are functional hard drives. Those two's hard drives are a bit iffy. That one makes a rough noise, so I don't wanna turn it on, but I have turned it on before. Um, so yeah. So for a bit of history, now uh, these things were the successors to the uh, iPod Classic fourth generation, which was a more bulkier, heavier, less slim device. These, these ones were a revision to that. Uh, more slim, redesigned, a uh, different kind of plastic, uh, less heavy, uh, more battery performance, everything better in general. The fifth generation was launched in 2005, October 2005, uh, October 12, 2005 to be specific. So the 12th of October 2005. Um, and was initially released in 60 and 30 gigs. So the base model was 30 gigs. The higher end model was 60 gigs. Now the differences uh, between the 30 and the 60 gig did not just obviously be uh, hard drive st storage. It also extended to battery performance. So now I don't have a 60 gig here, neither do I have a standard fifth gen here. These are all 5.5 gens. Uh, but the uh, 30 gig had an audio performance of 14 hours, slideshow performance, meaning pictures of uh, three hours, and video performance of two hours. So just one movie-ish. Um, but the 60 gig had a bigger battery and what was a bit more thicker than the 30 gig. It had an audio performance of 20 hours, slideshow performance of four hours and video performance of three hours. So uh, much better battery performance on the uh, 60 gig model. Then in June 2006, the special edition fifth generation was launched. Now. The fifth generation special edition, meaning the U2 special edition, we're talking about the U2 special edition. Uh, the fifth generation and the 5.5 generation are the same. Uh, it's because the uh, the U2 special edition fifth generation was also uh, considered as a 5.5 generation because when it was released, it was enhanced. It was much better than the standard fifth gen. Uh, when it was released, it was released with this uh, uh, custom uh, back cover with the uh, band member signatures over there, iPod special edition branding, U2 branding over there. So uh, it was a collaboration between the rock band U2 and Apple. How do you recognize one of these things is with the serial number. All U2 special editions will have a serial number ending with W9G. So that is basically how you recognize um, a iPod Classic 5.5 uh, uh, or 5th generation U2 edition. Another way to recognize this, uh, it is with the software when you turn it on. Uh, it's going to have a search feature, but then some sellers on eBay, they're dishonest. They could basically take the innards of a standard 5.5 gen and shove a shove it into a fake black and red case with a fake back like this as well. You can make a lot of fakes. The best way is to cross check the uh, serial number on the back with the software serial number. Sure, that can be changed as well. The software serial number can be changed, but it's not as easy. 
Another way to recognize a U2 uh, iPod Classic 5th generation is it only came in 30 gigs. The first launch, meaning the June launch of the U2 Special Edition, June 2006, and the September launch 5.5 generation, again, they're the same. However, they were both released only in 30 gigs. There was no 60 gig or there was no 80 gig of the U2 edition. It was only 30 gigs. So that's another way to recognize uh, a U2 Special Edition. But then again, uh, scammers on eBay can swap out the hard drive so be careful uh, of the software serial number a uh, great way is to cross check or tell the seller to send more photos also if you're getting a uh, fifth generation or 5.5 generation u2 uh, again these two are exactly the same uh, they're just released uh, at different dates another way um, that you could recognize and it's kind of kind of a tip from me rather than anywhere else is if it looks too good, it's probably a uh, fake with a uh, back cover of eBay. Just look for a bunch of scratches. Now my one at first glance look, looks really good, but when you tilt it, as you can see, it is heavily scratched. And these scratches were not done by me. I got it like this. So this is actually an excellent condition, legit uh, 5.5 gen U2 uh, edition. I don't know if it's a 5.5 or just a fifth gen, really can't tell them. I'll probably have to tell by the model number. I can't remember that off the top of my head. It's marked over there. Either way, it's still the same. The five, the fifth gen released in June, uh, U2 edition, and the final U2 edition for the uh, iPod Classic 5.5 gen are exactly the same. Uh, they were the first enhanced versions. They had um, an enhanced, uh, enhanced audio processor. Now there's an argument on whether the audio pro processor makes much of a difference. Um, I don't see much of a difference. However, well, I wouldn't say that I won't see a difference. There is a slight difference when you compare the fifth gen to the standard. You don't, it doesn't have to be the U2, by the way. It could be any fifth gen versus any 5.5 gen. Uh, there is a slight difference, but um, that's up for a debate for another time. Um, but yeah, that was the U2 special edition released in June of 2006. So initially the pricing for the 30 gig was 299 and the uh, 60 gig was 399 that's for the fifth generations the original iterations of the uh, iPod Classic fifth generation uh, song capacity was around uh, 7500 songs depending on bitrate and stuff uh, for the 30 gig and 15,000 songs uh, for the 60 gig so that was basically how the uh, first iteration of the fifth generation went, AKA the standard uh, iPod Classic fifth generation. <clears throat> and then uh, way into 2006, um, a few months later after the uh, June launch of the uh, classic uh, U2 edition, the first revision, AKA the 5.5 generation, uh, iPod Classic 5.5 generation was finally released. And this thing came with a bump in uh, audio performance and a uh, higher storage capacity. So the base uh, capacity was still 30 gigs. However, the uh, upper capacity was upgraded to 80 gigs. As you can see, I have one 80 gig over here. And the 80 gig was uh, considerably more thick than the uh, 30 gig. I don't know if that's coming up. The 60 gig was also thicker in the fifth gen, but uh, this, the 5.5 gen 80 gig is much thicker as you can see over there. The, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, so the, uh, if you look at the connector, the differences between the heights on the connectors, you'll see. So yeah, it was definitely uh, a bit more thicker, uh, but that also came with a great battery performance. And uh, the 30 gig got a slight battery performance increase. The audio was still, 14 hours, but the slideshow was now four hours instead of three. Uh, video was 3.5 instead of two. The 80 gig got a considerable bump uh, in uh, video performance. Uh, audio was still around 20 hours, uh, same as the fifth gen 60 gig. However, the 5.5 gen 80 gig got a slideshow of six hours, bumped up from four hours and a video playback time of around 6.5 hours bumped up from three hours. So uh, video playback was probably made a bit more efficient uh, on the 5.5 Gen 80 gig model. 
And again, it was released in uh, black and white and the U2 special edition was also released alongside it. Basically the same thing that was released in June. Like I said, the fifth gen U2 and the 5.5 gen U2 are exactly the same. I can't really tell which mine is. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's impossible to tell, uh, but either way, they're still the same. So who really cares? Um, they were launched on September 12, 2006, so 11 months after the original 5th gen was released, uh, just one month short of 12 months. And um, they were released at a slightly cheaper price when compared to the original 5th uh, gen. They were toned down from the, like I said, the original 5th gen was launched for the 30 gig was 299, but now the 30 gig on the 5.5 gen was 249. And um, the 60 gig on the 5th gen was uh, 399, but now the 5.5 gen uh, was finally dropped down to 349, despite the uh, upgraded uh, performance and stuff. And since now there was an 80 gig, it could store 20,000 sto 20, songs upgraded from the 60 gigs, 15,000 songs. But the 30 gigs still could hold uh, only, um, could only hold 7,500 7, songs. So let us finally, now I'm pretty sure you guys may have been waiting, let's finally have a look at the interface. Now this is again a 5.5 gen, so it's gonna have the search feature which the standard fifth gen never had. Uh, this is kind of handy if you have a lot of songs on you, uh, but I'm pretty sure people will mix up the songs and videos to fill up the space. And none of these iPods had uh, filled up hard drives. They were always uh, like half full. For example, this one was uh, about settings, about, uh, as you can see, it has 3,642 songs. So it's not entirely full, uh, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, it has 16 videos on it as well. I never knew that, whatever. Because uh, a lot of these, I have not managed to wipe them. Uh, they still have the previous users uh, music and stuff. So I really don't use these things. I just keep them for my collection. So the interface, we have the music player and all of that stuff over here. Playlists, artists, albums, songs, podcasts, genres, composers, audiobooks, and search. Uh, photo, music, photos, videos, extra settings. This, is, this one's the main menu. Uh, settings, shuffle songs, backlight. You can uh, turn off the backlight if you want to uh, conserve power as well, as you can see. Um, and we have a bunch of other things, photos, slideshows, videos, we have videos and everything is broken down into uh, multiple uh, lists. We have video settings as well, uh, TV signal out and TV out, widescreen and stuff as well. You could basically uh, project this onto a screen when it's on its dock or when it's plugged in. Extras, we have clock, games, contacts, calendar. Uh, notes which you can load from your MacBook, so MacBook or PC, if you want to take a shopping list with you and you're not taking your phone, you can put it on your iPod. You have stopwatch and screen lock with a four digit passcode as well. Is it four digits or is it five digits? Um, let's see, yeah, it is four digits, okay. Uh, so it's kind of a dial kind of passcode, like a vault kind of uh, lock there. Um, we have games, um, brick, music, quiz, parachute, and solitaire. Uh, Parachute is a game that I've played and I really, really liked. And by the way, you could download more games from the iTunes store. Um, these are just the games that came preloaded. Pre -loaded. So basically what you gotta do here is shoot the uh, the parachute guys coming into land here. Uh, it looks kind of easy, but this game gets difficult really fast. This game gets really difficult really fast over time because a lot of people start falling. I've played this game before, so I kind of know what it's like. Um, but it, if, if you don't, if you aren't good with the scroll wheel and uh, the button here, you could not get a high score on this, but it is what it is. Solitaire, Music Quiz, Brick, other games. You could load them off iTunes if you want more games. Um, under settings, uh, we have about meaning the storage and stuff main menu shuffle you could basically uh change up your main menu here you could turn off things you don't want make it more streamlined um shuffle repeat volume limiter backlight timer the brightness on the black backlight audiobooks eq compilations clicker so you could turn off the uh clicking sound as you can see it's no longer there uh but i like it when it's on uh date and time contacts you could have contacts lang language legal reset all settings 
So that's basically the interface. And again, it's the same on the U2 edition and all of them as well. The only difference between the interface so with the fifth gen and the 5.5 gen, again, is the search feature things. I gave you a kind of a buying guide on these as well uh, for the U2 for, for this, for the standard 5.5 gen. Uh, I should also give you a buying guide. So here's the buying guide for a standard 5.5 gen. How you differentiate a 5.5 gen from a uh, normal fifth gen is with these serial numbers. If the serial number ends with V9 most of the time, uh, uh, as you can see, there's a list here. If it's V9M, V9K, V9 in general, it's a 5.5 gen. If it ends with a different set of three letters, it's something else. So now you have these letters at the uh, on screen here. Uh, if it does not end with those three letters, it's not a 5.5 gen. So now this one is V9M, V9K, V9R. V this one's also V9M or V... No, that's V9K. Uh, like I showed you earlier, the U2 ones are always W9G. So that's just different for the U2. Um, so that's basically how you recognize a five, fifth gen from a 5.5 gen if you want to get uh, get some. Um, if, you're, if you aren't sure, um, sometimes the bodies have been changed through repair and stuff. So you can ask the seller for more pictures if you like of the software. You can basically go into the about section there and look at the serial number. So that's basically how you recognize them. Or you can just ask if the uh, music has a search feature, like I said. Um, the uh, search feature is a dead giveaway. Another dead giveaway for the 80 gig is that the 5.5 gen only came, uh, was the only one that came with an 80 gig. The fifth gen came with a 30 and a 60, but the uh, 5.5 gen, if you're looking for an 80 gig one, it's definitely a um, 5.5 gen. 30, you'll have to look for search and the serial number. But yeah, that's basically, uh, was, this video kind of took a bit longer than I expected. Um, but either way, uh, that was the uh, retro sort of review for the iPod Classic 5th gen and 5.5 gen. And I hope you enjoyed this video as usual. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like on it. And if you didn't, please leave a dislike and let me know down in the description, in the comments below why you didn't. If you liked what you saw, also please consider hitting that subscribe button as it helps this channel a lot. Check out my social media as well down in the description below. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.